In today's tutorial, you'll see the difference between Photoshop and Illustrator workflow and will understand which one to use for your own illustrations. You're watching TNT tutorials? Let's move on! First of all, Photoshop is great for realistic sketching. I drew this sketch in Photoshop using a tablet and there's no such option in Illustrator. If you want to work in Illustrator from sketch, you'll need to draw sketch with pencil or in Photoshop and then place it to Illustrator to continue. In Photoshop, we make sketch layer less visible and start to draw. In Illustrator, you need to pick the pen tool and start to trace. It doesn't feel like drawing at all. You're simply creating shapes. The main difference is that in Photoshop, you need to create a new layer for each shape or your illustration won't be editable. In Illustrator, all shapes are always separate and you can forget about layers if you want. Notice that in Photoshop we can imitate traditional materials. In Photoshop you're working with pixels, and in Illustrator you're working with vector. In vector you can resize image to any size, and you'll never experience distortion that you get from resizing pixels in Photoshop. To avoid such problem in Photoshop, you should think about document size before you'll start drawing. It's better to create A3 or A2. When adding details to your illustration, in Photoshop you're still drawing as usual, and in Illustrator you can use texture brush to create small lines, or create path, apply texture brush, and select dashed line. When you need to add photo texture, you'll apply clipping mask in both. In Photoshop, hold Alt or Option key and click between layers to create clipping mask. In Illustrator, select two needed shapes, right-click and select Make Clipping Mask. After this, you can play with blending modes and opacity. Photoshop is much better for adding photo texture, because you can invert texture, erase it if you need, play with levels or curves, and change color. If you want to add noise texture, there's no vector option for it. But in Illustrator, you'll pick noise from raster effects and will be able to adjust it as you want. If you want to be a professional digital artist or illustrator, you definitely need to learn both Photoshop and Illustrator. Don't limit your creativity and possibilities. In these tutorials, I show how to create a base of illustration in Illustrator and then export it to Photoshop for final render. You won't get these results with Illustrator only, but you can learn my methods and bring your workflow to the next level. In conclusion, I can say that Photoshop and Illustrator are both very good. If you like drawing using a tablet, Photoshop is for you. But if you want clean illustrations with hard edges and prefer the pen tool, Illustrator is for you. But why you should choose? Expand your capabilities and you will never regret it. Don't forget to press thumbs up if you learned something new from this tutorial and also subscribe so you don't miss more useful tutorials like this. This was TNT Tutorials, thank you for watching and see you in the next video!